Hi guys, have you tried those form designs, the bubbles on the news? Did it turn it right or did you got like a rough surface? I've got all the answers for you in this video. Uh, it is a really great tutorial showing you what to do so you achieve really nice and smooth effect with the bubble foam nails and what you don't do to don't create those rough, ugly surface. So bear with me and check this out. So I decided to do it on the pastel colors because it kind of goes more with me. But I had the cameraman trying them out as well and the chameleon colors. And I think he made a really amazing job out of them. We had lots of fun creating uh, uh, those designs. But I want to really show you the main thing about it. There have been lots of uh, complaints on the groups I have read that you get like a really rough surface. And you can see this rough surface in here. I hope you can see it. So this one is really catchy like and it's really really rough and I will show you what to do to get a really nice and smooth effect and not roughiness because there is a rule for that. Well, we'll start doing like those Aurora pigment one. So I have buffed my tip and it's in a really nice white color so I can apply some pigments. And the pigment is like an ink alcohol pigment I'm going to use. And I want some places to be much lighter and some places to be darker. So I will just apply it all over first. Let it dry and then in one corner we will go for a much darker um, color. Also in other tutorials you can search on my channel I have created this kind of marbles. So that looks absolutely amazing for this uh, bubble foam effect as well. And we will use this tip to show you that. So I have to wait for this bits and pieces to dry. And in the meantime to don't get you bored we can actually do the bubble design on this tip. So to do the bubble design, we need to apply some type of chrome powders and it can be a chameleon or it can be any kind of other chrome. I'm going to use the Aurora powder because I really like the look of it. So using the no wipe top coat, I'm using the upvoted no wipe top coat. I'm going to apply a thin layer so I can wrap in the pigment into it. And I like because this tip has also some sparkles like a chameleon flakes on the background. So it will look very interesting for a bubble effect. I'm going to give it 60 seconds cure before I wrap the pigment in. And then this layer is dry so I can go another layer. Let it dry. The Aurora powder I've got it here. Due to the length of my nails, I'm always applying it to the lid because I find that rubbing it with my finger just gives me the best results. I've got like some of you might use those silicone tools to rub the pigment in. I find that it just doesn't go as shiny and so does the cotton. Uh, the eyeshadow applicator, I've got it here as well and again I was like okay everyone use them. No, it's like I find it like the best results I get it with the uh, finger. So this is dry another layer on. And another one. Now we can wrap in a chrome powder into this tip. So I'm just dabbing in and rubbing in. And I love it because you can still see what is uh, the design underneath and that creates much more interesting look. So wrapped it in well and now we have to protect our design with the top coat before we do any foam design. So protect it with the top coat on the entire surface. Give it a cure. And then this one is start looking better. So 
So we start getting some marble effect with darker and lighter color. I'm going to wait a couple seconds for it to dry and apply the top coat as well. So this way we have created quite a nice effect. I can give it a cure. It's going to be exactly a 60 seconds cure so we can wrap in the Aurora pigment on top of it. And then this tip is cure, so I will show you the foam effect. And now the most important part is I've got some ball in here. I'm going to blow it in as a fun part. lots of bubbles in and you can see I have created lots of bubbles on the top now I don't want to use those bubbles because uh, we will get a rough surface they are still really heavy with the water so you want to break them up like and make them smaller you don't want them too big like mixing it well get the form really like the bubbles really nice and thin and they are much lighter because the water will start to drop down. So I can put it on the side for a second. And we can apply the top coat. This is the top coat which is going to give us this bubble effect. When you apply the top coat, if you apply it too thick, the bubbles are going to be rough because um, the amount of the top coat is creating this rough structure so you have to work really really thin like kind of brush away your top coat you don't want too much about it let's go back to the bowl and i'm going to use the very very fine foam which is on the top and then no pressure apply it on like no pressure You have to be very gentle. And the foam which is on the top is very light foam. I'm going to give it a cure. And the top uh, and the foam which is on the bottom of the bowl is really heavy. So don't pick up the uh, foam from the bottom, only the one which is on the top. So our first design is curing and on this one we can wrap an Aurora powder. Remove any excess of the pigment and then apply the top coat. So exactly the same step. Give it a cure. And our first design is almost uh, done. I want to also show you because I have been playing like it's really nice technique so I have been playing also on some marbles effects and that looks pretty nice too you can see all those bubbles and it's pretty smooth like it's not rough you can also see it here as well I have done it just on the one side so it's a really really interesting look again the marble designs you can see it on my channel because I have just uh, picked up some previous tips um, which I have been playing with. Now the tip is almost cured. I just need a couple seconds more and I show you the results. So if the foam is still on the tip, that means you have made a really good foam and the foam is not heavy and it's not bursting. So you can see I've got the foam in there and that means you got good results. Now I'm just taking the wipe and I'm going to wipe it off. Remove the tip so it's easier. And using the UV cleanser, I'm just going to give it like a good rubby motion to make sure there is no sticking out bits and pieces. So bear with me a couple seconds. And that's the final look. So you can see it's really nice and smooth and absolutely amazing. And that's because the foam didn't burst. It wasn't too heavy and the surface is not rough. Like when you look on the side, 
you can see there is no sticky bits and I show you the one with the sticky bits so you can see the difference this one is really rough because the foam was too heavy and it didn't create as nice look so keep that in mind this is the most important part why some of the designs are going heavy and if we put the top coat okay they are going smoother but the effect is not as nice so just repeat the steps now again on this tip I'm applying the top coat nice and thin like kind of brushing it away almost nice and thin nice and thin my foam is already light because I have uh, done it before and with the spoon Look, I've got still the foam on the spoon, uh, on the spoon, which is really great. Like that just shows the foam is really gentle. And now I'm applying it on the tip. No pressure, no pressure, very gentle. No pressure, very gentle. And now we can give it a cure. So exactly a 60 seconds cure and I can put this on the side now uh, but I again show you because this is really important so to you get the rough surface if you're using the foam which is too heavy or too large and too thick top coat so don't do that because then it's a rough and it's catchy for your clients it also doesn't look nice and uh, when you apply top coat over it you will lose the effect so there is no point of doing it to do get a really nice and fine uh, results like the ones in here you have to use a foam which is on the top like you blow it up first you use it on the, the one from the top not from the bottom because it doesn't contain as much water in there and then when you pick up your design from the lamp after curing it will still have the foam on top of it and that's mean you have made a good job if the foam is gone by the time you take out the design that's mean you have made a bad job okay so i i'm going to clean it it now i actually quite like i've got one larger one and just give it a rough rough surface scrub with the uv cleanser like to make sure it's really nice and smooth but there is nothing overly too rough and that's another tip finished let me catch those lights really nice bubbly effect so have a look on all of them and i hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial if you did give me a like and subscribe to this channel thanks guys bye